Hello guys, welcome to Simple Simulations. So in this channel, I'll be look uh, showing you how to write codes for different uh, uh, simulations, and uh, I'll go at them one by one. So uh, my first series of videos are concerning a molecular dynamics program. So I'll be looking into a very simple uh, molecular dynamics program, which is an NVE ensemble, which means constant number of particle, constant volume, and constant energy. I'll be uh, coding uh, my programs in C because it's very fast and it's uh, it's relatively simple uh, programming language. Um, not everyone might be familiar with it, but I hope uh, my viewers are familiar with programming in C. So what I'll do in every video is uh, take a particular part of the simulation, which is basically a function, which will be in my code, and I would explain the theory behind it and then uh, go through uh, writing the code. So our first part would be periodic boundary conditions and nearest image. To understand this, uh, let's look at a 2D uh, uh, system and look at what the periodic boundaries of 2D uh, system are to have a better idea and then we'll reflect upon uh, its implications in 3D. Let's look at this uh, simple 2D system uh, with a green particle and a red particle. And uh, how would the periodic images look? So in 2D, what, would, uh, what we would do is copy the whole system in X direction and Y direction infinitely. Uh, I obviously won't be showing all the infinite images, but I would be showing all the nearest images of the system. So uh, this are the periodic nearest periodic images of our given system. So for 2D system, uh, we'll have total of 3 cross 3 minus 1, that is 8 images. And for a 3D system, uh, we'll have uh, 3 into 3 into 3 minus 1, that is uh, 26 images. So, uh, so what we often need to do uh, in our simulation is to calculate force. And force often uh, and mostly depends upon the distance between particles. So uh, how we calculate the distance between particles is really important. So uh, one important uh, uh, distance for our p system would be the distance between the green and the red particle. So uh, there are a lot of images. Uh, so total there are total nine images for the red particle. So and the distance of each image uh, from the green particle varies. And what we want to look in our simulation is the nearest image. We want to find the force between only the nearest image because uh, LJ potentials die down uh, quickly and the potential for our system which we would be using in our code will be an LJ potential. So we would try to neglect the uh, interparticle distance which are too large. So we always calculate the nearest image, uh, distance for the nearest image. So visually, if we uh, look at the uh, nearest images, we find four possible cases, uh, which are uh, shown here. And if you look closely enough, we'll find the closest uh, image is actually the one at the left-hand corner, bottom corner. For finding distance, we would all, uh, always uh, find the change in x coordinate, changes y coordinate and z coordinate and then find the square, sum it and take a root to find the distance. So uh, let's look into the change, uh, the difference between the x position of the red particle and the green particle. So if we look into uh, the original system which is at the center, uh, the difference in the positions is given by xj minus xi. The difference of the exposition uh, with the red particle here at the left and at the bottom uh, left corner is both xj minus xi minus l, while the distance um, difference in position of the image at the bot uh, bottom is uh, constant with xj minus xi, so is the one at the top. 
we can then notice a pattern here which is if I move in X direction this image uh, all the images in uh, this column is XJ minus XI all the images in this column is XJ minus XI minus XL and all the images in this column is XJ minus XI plus L and so goes for the Y directions and the Z directions in 3D so let us write down a function in C for finding uh, the minimum distance and we would also uh, be writing a function to find the minimum difference in X or Y or Z coordinate which would come in handy in defining our force in LJ potential. For programming I'm using DevC++ version 5.2.0.3 and uh, uh, let's begin. We begin the code by adding the C preprocessors using include, uh, which is stdio.h and stdlib.h. So I uh, will uh, name our first function as uh, let's say min distance but this is basically uh, the distance m difference in distance in one coordinates x and y x or y or z so it will only take two coordinates uh, say x1 and double x2 so this can be uh, y as well i'm just naming it x because i feel it kind of familiar with it so basically now the distance between two images can either uh, be at max L within the same box so its image would uh, surely be less than L so the condition which we require is that the difference between the coordinates is more than L by 2 or less by L by 2 so it we basically have if x1 minus x2 is greater than length by 2.0 then we'll have to return x1 minus x2 minus length and if we have x1 minus x2 uh, less than minus length by 2.0 then we have to return x1 minus x2 plus length else we have to return x1 minus x2 so this should be else if and we can even actually remove the braces but they, because these are just one line commands so we don't only only want to find the difference in the x y or z coordinates we actually want to find the distance so let's go ahead and uh, define a function for that so we'll return a double and uh, let's call this distance then uh, our arguments would be now a vector so a, a vector of three uh, coordinates of x y and z of one particle and the same for another so we have to add uh, find the distance difference in the distance of the coordinates and then square them and add them so we need an iterating variable and we'll need a double foo which in which we would store uh, the data so we'll run a for loop with k equals to 0 to k less than 3 or let's say dimension and k plus plus so my dimension uh, can be 3 can be 2 so I'll be summing up the square of distances in each dimension so I'll store the difference uh, in x y or z in foo which is which I'll get by calling the function min dist and I would just uh, 
uh, pass the following arguments x1 of k so uh, and x2 of k so what this would do is uh, pass x coordinate first then y and then z so in each cases I will be storing the difference which is the uh, different uh, between the x y z coordinates with the uh, nearest image and then I would have to add the uh, variable distance dist uh, so I would initialize distance as 0 dist as 0 and then I would update uh, accordingly uh, in each of the k values so I'll basically for each k values I'll update the distance as multiplying foo with foo so and at the end I'll just return dist as you noticed here I haven't defined uh, what is length and what is dim so let's define that length for now let's take it as 10 and then let's define dim as uh, 3 okay I have to even find how uh, tall this is double and this is it so I'm pretty much done So these were some straightforward uh, functions uh, which is basically calculates the distance which we will be using in our future videos. So uh, I won't be checking these functions. You can certainly try and check it out and play it with different coordinates. Uh, we would be checking out the collective uh, these functions when we calculate the force. Uh, I hope that you stick around to the entire series of videos. Uh, so that you can have an idea on how software packages like Gromax or uh, LAMPS work. So uh, obviously those are optimized over the years uh, including parallel processing, GPU computing and uh, coding such uh, programs in C is difficult. But uh, the reason I use C for programming uh, uh, simple MD simulation is that it is very fast. If you compare it with MATLAB or Python, this would run several times faster. And that's why these are ideal because MD uh, simulations in, uh, use a lot of complicated calculations and a lot of uh, iterative uh, evaluation of distances and then forces. And so uh, C is a very good choice to actually deal with uh, uh, such codes uh, very efficiently so for now uh, so we will conclude at this so basically we looked into the periodic boundary condition distances so uh, if you like the uh, video please hit the like button uh, comment if you need any help or if you find if uh, I said something wrong uh, I would like to hear it out and if you find a more efficient way of writing the code which will make it faster, I'm always open to suggestions.